Well, I'm here at the Holden stand here at BVE 2017. Uh, we always like to come and visit them. We've always got something new and exciting to talk about, and this year is no exception. We've got Richard Payne with us, and Richard, you've got the new GH5 with you from Panasonic. That's right. Uh, tell us a bit about it. Well, nobody's interested in this, really. It's, it's, uh, actually, we've been absolutely mobbed so far. Um, I've never seen so much interest in a small camera like this. And I think it's because Panasonic have thrown the kitchen sink at it in features-wise. You know, if they'd given us one of the main features, in-body stabilization or 10-bit 422 internal recording, it would have been quite a coup. But to give you know, six or seven things, which, which nothing else remotely near it in this price range has got, is really astonishing. And, and even better, there's more to come because uh, we're going to get a 400 megabit all iframe 422 10-bit mode in the summer and a 6K anamorphic mode, which is great wow. because we've got some lovely two times anamorphic lenses yeah. from SLR Magic here. And the combination of those two will be shooting uh, similar resolutions to the red helium sensor on a 1500 pound camera. Amazing. So you mentioned some of the things are thrown at it. Let's go through some of the, the, the top features. Well, top feature, I think the top thing for me is the 10-bit 422, yep. you know, broadcast quality codec. And they made it very easy to get at. We've got twin card slots now. So we can write either simultaneously to, to both cards, so you could give somebody else a copy, uh, or it will relay record from one to the other. And there's no recording limits. We can, we can record straight away, um, straight away, you know, fill the entire card up. With, yep. uh, it won't stop at half an hour. Um, so the two card slots are very useful. Also, it might seem silly, but a full-size HDMI port on a camera this size, so much more robust. Yeah. And they even put a cable locking mechanism in the box so you can lock the cable, make sure it doesn't, yep. it doesn't pop out. However, if it does pop out, it doesn't stop the camera recording, which is something that used to happen with the GH4. Again, they've listened to a lot of criticism. Um, another major thing, very difficult to see, but they, they no longer crop the sensor when filming 4K video. They right. use the entire width of the sensor, which means it's much easier to get wide shots. Yeah. Um, and as well as that, of course, they've got the in-body stabilization of the sensor. So it's a five axis. It moves, it rocks and rolls as, yeah. as you're moving. And you can use that in conjunction with the, uh, with the lens stabilization, if you're using the Lumix lenses, to get rock solid stuff. I was using a 400 millimeter telephoto, which with the two times crop is about 800 at the yeah. rugby on, on Sunday at Twickenham. And we were filming the other side of the pitch. And I was hand holding it and right. it was totally usable at, at the equivalent of 800 mil. Yeah. It, it really is, it's almost magical stabilization. There's a little electronic stabilization you can switch on or off. But of course, because it's in body, we can use it with primes like this lovely T9, uh, T.95 yeah. 50 mil, and we get stability. So this is the equivalent of 100 mil, and I can hand hold it very steady with that. Um, of course, you can see the XLR box, yes. which is a an addition which you can buy with this. The previous GH4 had the Yagi, which had quad SDI out, which yep. was obviously quite useful, but it needed separate power, and it wasn't as practical. People didn't buy it just for the audio side. This just clips on, takes the battery from the camera. Uh, it's even got phantom power, yep. gives you proper physical pots on the side. Yep. It, it makes sound much easier to use. It also, if you use it in MOV mode, gives you 96 kilohertz, 24 bits, so it should please audio files everywhere. Yeah, brilliant. Um, the monitoring is improved. We've now got 3.6 million pixel OLED viewfinder, which is the sharpest on the market, and uh, as a larger touch screen, which means we can get more menu elements in one in one screen, so it's easier to navigate the menus. In fact, talk about navigating menus, you've now got 20 user-definable switches when you, when you add up, because we've got this new, new little joystick as well, which is very good to use when you're not looking. You know, the touch screen, obviously, is much easier when you're looking at it. This, this, you can get a sort of intuitive feel for it, and you can set auto-focus points, lots of things like that. Noise reduction, hugely improved by leveraging an enormous amount of processors grunt into the camera. We've got better noise reduction, better auto-focus, better color rendition in highlights and shadows. The overall colorometry is superb. There's a new color mode called Like 709, which matches more closely standard video cameras. Yep. Uh, what is there not to like? <laughs> um, now, obviously, this is still in um, sort of a pre-production state. Right, when are we looking to ship these? Beta drivers, end of the month, right. end of the month. And there is, if you pre-order them, you yes. will get five-year warranty instead of a traditional two-year warranty. Wow. So it might be worth thinking about that, but also because they are selling like hotcakes. Yeah. Literally everybody we talked to yesterday who came and looked at it said, I'm going to buy one, which is, which is just fantastic. 
which is just great. It's a fantastic camera. We're actually shooting on it at the moment as well, so to give you some idea of what the thing looks like. Um, go and find out where to get these from. 4K and, 60p2. And 4K 60p2 as well. You, you can find the stats all over the internet. Everybody's talking about this camera. You want to find it. One place you can find information, of course, will be the Holden website, and that is? www.holden.co.uk. Excellent. He's done that so many times this week, I'm sure. Uh, go and check them out. Yeah. And um, don't forget to check out what we've been doing here at BVE at our website, kitplus.com.